Welcome, everybody. This is the House Cleaning Podcast, where we are helping you achieve great goals by dreaming big with your small business. My name is Danny Partida, and each week I will share new insights, strategies, and tactics with you in order to help you reach your full potential with your cleaning business. Welcome to the House Cleaning Podcast and to episode number 39, your frequently asked questions page. Welcome to another edition of Strategy Monday. Before I begin, I want to let you know that today's episode is brought to you by Audible. Audible is offering my listeners a free audiobook with a 30-day trial membership. Just go to audibletrial.com slash cleaner and browse the unmatched selection of audio programs. Download a title free and start listening. It's that easy. Go to audibletrial.com slash cleaner. Do you have a frequently asked questions page on your website? I was recently helping out a small business owner with his company's website and it came to my attention that he did not have a frequently asked questions section on his site. I was surprised by this, but at the same time, I realized that we as business owners are constantly being bombarded by different requests throughout the day, whether staff or customers were constantly being asked for our attention. We are busy throughout the day and we very rarely, if ever, schedule some time to work on our businesses. We're always working in our businesses, but how about on our businesses? You see, I explained to this business owner that if we only take a few minutes or hours each week to work on our businesses, that in itself will have a very positive ROI. I gave him the example of his frequently asked questions page. I told him, if you take a few minutes each day or a couple of hours each week and work on your frequently asked questions page, then when a potential customer calls and starts asking questions that you know are in your frequently asked questions page, then you can tell him or her that you will text or email them the link to your frequently asked questions page. That will allow your website to do some of the selling for you. And not only that, but if you have a decent enough website, then the potential customer will browse around and read, for example, your customer reviews and any other relevant information that you might have on your website. And here's today's strategy. If you don't have a frequently asked questions page, start by creating it. That's it. Just create the page today. And by that, I mean just title it. Don't work on it. Just do it. Just create it. That's all you have to do today. Tomorrow, create the title and insert an image. The next day, answer one frequently asked question that you receive constantly and insert it on your page. And like that, you gradually start creating a more thorough, more informative, frequently asked questions page. You see, sometimes we hesitate to even start a project because we think, oh, it's going to be so hard or it's going to require so much time. But you know what? Starting one empty page on your site with just a title on it is more than nothing at all. I know you're busy. I know you feel like if you're not in your business and nothing will get done. And right now that might be the case. But if you want things to change, if you want to start systematizing certain parts of your business, you need to work on your business. Like I said, even if it's just a few minutes each day. Another thing you can do is to get yourself into the habit that whenever a customer, whether current or potential customer, asks you a question, start making notes to yourself, and by that I mean physical notes, not mental notes, to add your answer to that question on your website's frequently asked questions section. You need to get into the habit. 
start using post-it notes or sticky notes or carry around a small notebook so that whenever a customer asks you a question, you have to go ahead and it has to trigger you to write down a note to yourself so that you, so that you can go ahead and include the answer to that question on your website. It's all about habits, you guys. You can also use social media to answer some of your frequently asked questions. But I believe that the best place for this information is your website. Remember, your website is like your digital business card. And you want to make sure that your customers find useful and relevant information on your site. So if you want to use your social media accounts to answer your frequently asked questions, that's fine. But like I said, just do it. Get into the habit. Finally, if you don't have a website or if you're thinking about switching to an easy to use website builder, I strongly recommend Weebly. It is a very, very easy to use website builder and you can create your website, including your frequently asked questions page in minutes. That is actually the website builder that I recommend my consulting clients. And I do just because many of them, as I imagine many of you, are very hands-on and like doing things related to their businesses themselves. And Weebly allows them to do this. So if you're interested in checking out Weebly, visit cleanerpreneur.com slash Weebly. And I am an affiliate of Weebly, so if you decide to join them, I will receive a small commission. But again, if you're interested, just to check it out, go to cleanerpreneur.com slash Weebly. Well, that's it for today. I wish you an excellent week, and I'll catch you on the next episode. Thanks for listening. And if you loved this episode and know of other cleaning business owners, or small business owners in general, please pass them on to me. It would mean so much to me if you could help me get my insights out to as many listeners as I can. Also, if you liked what you heard, please take a few seconds and leave me a five-star review and share this with your friends. I'll be forever grateful. All the best. Catch you on the next episode.